Hello, my name is Lisa and today I'm going to share a story with you. Today's story is whatever next. Can I go to the moon? Ask baby bear. No, you can't, said Mrs. Bear. It's bath time. Anyway, you'll have to find a rocket first. Baby Bear found a rocket in the cupboard under the stairs. He found a space helmet on the draining board in the kitchen and a pair of boots on the mat by the front door. One, two. He packed his teddy and some food took off up the chimney. Whoosh! Out into the night. An owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you off to? The moon, said Baby Bear. Would you like to come too? Oh. Yes, please, said the owl. An aeroplane soared out of the clouds. Baby Bear waved. Some passengers waved back. On and on they flew up, up above the clouds and past millions of stars until at last they landed on the moon. Nobody's here, said Baby Bear. There's no trees, said the owl. It's boring, said Baby Bear. Shall we eat our picnic? <laughs> what a good idea, said Owl. We'd better go, said Baby Bear. My bath must be ready now. Off they went. Down. 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 The owl got off and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was good to meet you. It rained. And the rain dripped through 
baby bear's helmet. Drip, drip, drip. Home went baby bear. Back down the chimney and landing on the living room carpet with a bump. <gasps> Mrs. Bear came into the room. <gasps> Look at the state of you, she gasped. <sighs> and she led him to the bathroom. Why, you look like you've been up the chimney. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I've been up the chimney, I found a rocket and I visited the moon. Oh, Mrs Bear laughed. <laughs> Oh, you and your stories, she said. Oh, whatever next. And our story has finished. I hope you liked our story today. Until next time. Bye bye. <laughs>